Und in Belgien liegt ja bekanntlich Holland. Dort lernen die Studenten nach einem ganz besonderen Prinzip, dem problemgesteuerten Unterricht. Was das im Detail ist, wird uns eine Expertin der Uni Wacheningen, Delia de Vries, genauer erklären. Hello Delia. Hello Nirosha. First, let me thank you indeed for taking part in our interview today. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. You're an expert for higher education and so you definitely know a lot about the Dutch system. Um, young Germans studying in Netherlands stress out the special um, form of education there. What makes it so unique? In the Netherlands we have an education concept which is called problem-based learning and this was uh, developed in I believe 1985 more or less and uh, I think nowadays most universities and Fachhochschulen in the Netherlands have actually adopted that uh, education concept uh, called problem-based learning within their education. Mm -hmm. And what means problem-based learning in particular? Problem-based learning means that you work in small groups of like 10 to 15 people where a, a professor gives a specific problem to the group uh, which has to be solved in a specific time frame. So while working are the students completely left on their own? No, 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 no. If they, uh, if they work within a problem-based learning session, there's a professor or a tutor there to guide them through the process. And if they go into a wrong direction or they, if they face problems, they will assist them in going through the right direction and answering uh, the questions which they have. And apart from that, there are always going to be lectures where specific uh, theory is, is going to be explained, which they can use during their problem-based learning sessions. Okay. What are the advantages of such a learning concept? Uh, when you uh, have a problem which you, uh, which you need to solve, it means that you actually combine your theory which you learn during the process. You actually do it via a practical example. Whereas in Germany, uh, most universities and most German students actually learn their theory first and then they actually implement that within uh, a practical situation or a real life situation. So the advantage is that you, from the beginning, you, you visualize your theory in a practical situation. Just one more question. Yeah? Why do you think that this concept of problem-based learning isn't used here in Germany? Uh, well, I believe that, that that might also change in the future, but knowing that in the Netherlands it took quite some years to actually completely restructure the, the education system, uh, this might also take a few years in Germany, but I believe that within medicine they have already changed the concept a little bit, whereas in the beginning the theory was already was learned in the beginning and then uh, they actually learned it in, in practical situations. Whereas nowadays I think they call it bedside um, classes, they also uh, straight from the beginning they work with the real patients. Okay. Delia, thank you again for this interesting look inside the Dutch education system You're welcome. and explaining the problem burst learning. Mm, to us and our audience. So I say bye. Bye. Und noch ein kleiner Hinweis für euch. Auf unserem YouTube-Channel könnt ihr unsere Videos auch abonnieren. So, das war's von uns von heute. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüssi.